Mr. President, the spokesman for the hostages says that the American people should raise hell to get Israel to release those prisoners. He uh, said that this morning on television. I'm, I'm not going to comment on, on that or anything else. Do I you? only know that none of us, any country, can afford to pay off terrorists for the crimes that they're committing because that will only lead to more crimes. Would that be a payoff, sir, if Israel releases the uh, prisoners? I have commented several times from that press that Israel had always intended to release them and have made that very clear. So uh, the linkage that is tied to our hostages uh, is something that never should have happened. Well, sir, David, David, David Stockman I, says that... I've only got a few minutes to eat spaghetti. Well, sir, David Stockman says... I know that's says, what you all came in for. You're hoping I'll spill it. <laughs> no, not that, sir. <laughs> David Stockman says that raising taxes is the only fiscal responsible way to go. He didn't say it. We know what he said, and the story is fallacious. Well, he said, well, look, the Times said, sir, that he said that some of the people in the administration on Capitol Hill have been using these phony numbers that probably ought to be in jail. No, we have the speech. We know exactly what he said, and uh, this has been a de definite and deliberate misquote. Now, I'm not going to answer any more questions. I'm going to eat spaghetti. But you're going to keep him as, as budget director? And, uh, yes. Sir, as they always used to say, maybe just one more about the linkage of the seven to the 39. Conwell also said he thought that was a terrible mistake to link the seven hostages to the 39. I don't think anything that attempts to get people back who have been kidnapped by thugs and murderers and barbarians is wrong to do. We're going to do everything we can to get all of them back that are held in that way. Are you making progress? Are you making progress, Mr. President? Are you? 
I'm not going to speculate. You know me, I'm superstitious. I never talk about a no-hitter if you're pitching. <laughs> you won't make a deal, is that it? You won't make a deal? No, we won't. That's more than okay. question. Look, I'm going to eat the spaghetti here, and I'm I asking spaghetti. Jim Thompson, I'm asking Governor Jim Thompson that by executive order he will declare, because this is a working lunch, I understand. We're working. And answers and all. <laughs> I'm going to ask him to declare that it's all right to talk with your mouth full. That's right. <laughs> you, won't, you won't ask the Israelis under any That's the end of the photo op. I'm sorry. That's the end of it. The president says no more questions. So scoot right out the door. Just turn right and you go right out. That's the right way to do it. Yes. Yes, to say I really meant that now that we're alone at last. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, any questions or anything with regard to the tax program I'm going to be talking about, I fire away because I really mean it when I say we're going to find out getting this passed. Well, since the lobbyists in Washington have surrounded the Capitol and dug in, have all the workers trained up, I think your own congressman here would tell you that you need to hear from the people back home about the money case. And I've been getting around the country and talking to a great many people in Iowa. The reception that I've gotten in audiences of all sizes
I said, well, if you give me 10,000 more letters like that, you can talk. <laughs> I'll be glad to entertain this subject, but uh, I'll send you a copy. There aren't many out there of those letters. I had that unhappy experience when I was in Hollywood. They were throwing around all that stage money. I was in the new star right in Europe. I never had a
state senator from the district. We're trying to build this up. We're trying to encourage him to run for a president of the board.